Hello everybody, how's it going? So, why does this look like a cape on me right now? Hold on, wait. <laughs> so, we have done a few videos about where to apply fragrances for my newer subscribers. And I have done a couple about where to not apply, but in case you're new to my channel, these are the places I would not recommend. First, let me actually apply my fragrance how I usually do. One behind each ear, the back of my neck, and then the backs of my shoulder blades. But I do not recommend spraying your fragrance in the front of your neck and ladies kind of in, you know, like your cleavage area, just because your skin is very sensitive there and applying the alcohol from the fragrance can just kind of dry it out. And it can also kind of give you a wrinkly neck and you don't want that, you know what I mean? I mean, in time that will come, but you don't want that to happen faster. You know what I'm saying? Another complaint that people have told me about when they spray like here in this in their neck area is that they go nose blind to their fragrances a lot faster and they wear really strong type of scents. So just to kind of avoid all that, don't spray it here. Trust me, people will still be able to smell you if you do the technique that I just showed you right there in the beginning of this video. But if you don't want to do it on the backs of your shoulder blades, you can always do it kind of up front on the sides here. Um, but yeah, this this neck area, I know people like to do the side of the neck. But for me, if you're already doing the side of the neck, just do it behind your ear because it's a pulse point. You know what I mean? Another place that's odd to me is people have asked me about the underarms, like the armpits. And I'm just like, why the hell would people spray there? You know what I mean? I just, to me, it doesn't make sense just because I know people put deodorant on there, but to apply your fragrance, the skin there is also very sensitive and it just seems like it would just create a mess of BO and your fragrance. And that's just not what I wanna do, at least. The thing is, I've never tried it, right? So I'm just looking from kind of an outside perspective on this. Is it something I would ever try? No, just because I don't wanna put any alcohol in that area whatsoever. But I mean, if it works for you, I guess it works for you, but it just sounds like it would be a disaster, all right? And the last place that I can think of, I'm sure there's more, but these are the three main ones I really don't recommend, is your your private area, all right? There are a lot of people that are like, oh yeah, like I wanna get some tonight or I wanna do this and then they just open their pants and like spray it in there. And it's just like the same people that don't know about basic hygiene and cleanliness, you know what I mean? Those are the same people that use scented kind of soaps when they shower because they think it's gonna smell good in that area. Just kind of a word of advice Use unscented soap when you're cleaning your body, all right? And there's no need for your fragrance to go down there because I promise you, it's not gonna smell good. It will not smell good. That goes for everybody, all right? Now with places like, you know what, no. I'm gonna keep it there. That just kind of shocked me just because of like, well, what do you think? Like, I have a date, like, can I spray it in my pants? And the thing is, Ladies, you, like, this is not you, all right? Because the only messages I have gotten have been from guys. The underarms one, the private part one, like, I'm very, very thankful that the ladies that are subscribed to me and that follow me already know that that's kind of common sense not to do, you know what I'm saying? But then I do get questions from everybody kind of about the neck area and the chest area because a lot of people like to spray like this. But those are just three that I would avoid. Of, co of course, those are my recommendations of where not to spray. But I mean, what works for you and if it's already your habit, I'm not trying to, I'm not gonna force you to do anything. You do as you please. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.